It's Jeff Salzenstein here, and I'm really excited to bring you today's video. We've got Wes Fuller, who runs one of the largest coaching groups on Facebook. He's done an incredible, incredible job growing this community, and he sent a video in to the group. It was a side view asking for help or asking for analyzation from all the coaches, the thousands of coaches. And then I chimed in and said, hey, send me a back view because I like doing analysis with a back view. So Wes, this is for you. Really appreciate you being willing to share this with me so that I could break down the serve and tell you what I think you can do to improve it. First of all, Wes, you're a great athlete. I've seen you, I've seen highlights of you playing college basketball back in the day and you could flat out ball. So we've got some athleticism here from Coach Wes and the first thing I want to point out is what's up with the ball in the right pocket. I'm assuming, I hope that there's only one pocket and you're just coming from the swimming pool because you got to have a left pocket there. Look at that. That is a, that's a mistake right there. The, the, we need it in the left pocket. All right, next, what's up with the sandals, Wes? I mean, come on, throw some tennies on before you, you go hit the serve. But we're going to work with this anyway. So first of all, I want to talk about the stance, and I talk about this a lot. Notice how the toe of the back foot is in line with the, the ball of the foot here. We'd like to slide this foot back. It's going to help right away with shoulder turn, possibly some hip turn, going to help with disguise. So I definitely play with that stance uh, right away, right off the bat. Okay, so now what I like to do is I like to look at what's happening when the ball is released. So when the ball is released, you see some pros in a similar position where there isn't a lot of shoulder turn. I'd prefer some shoulder turn in the first move here. And we're going to show that in a bit. Okay, next, the ball is released. Look at how the racket comes up. There is no shoulder turn. There is no coil. Now, I'm working closely with Racket Fit. This is an organization that is bringing certifications to tennis coaches, fitness professionals, medical professionals, and trainers to teach the, the, ser the serve swing at the level one level. Level two will be forehands and backhands to break down the characteristics of the serve that you must avoid if you want to be efficient. And it could be related to number one, your body, your, in, your body being inefficient in some way at different joints. For example, your shoulders, your uh, hips, your ankles, uh, even your, your mid back, your low back. If there is stability or mobility at the wrong places, <laughs> you're not going to be as efficient. And so we teach we teach professionals how to understand this, how to understand how the body can actually impact technique. And of course it can be as technique as well. So this could be a limitation in hip mobility, um, in, in the way that the lower back works, uh, the, the thoracic spine or the mid spine. It could even have something to do with ankle mobility or shoulder mobility. So just see that there's no coil here, no shoulder turn, not a lot of hip turn and we have what's called a low in my opinion a low elbow here we also have a low tossing arm so that tossing arm does not go as straight as it should and that actually could be a limitation in shoulder flexibility or shoulder range of motion so as a coach you can tell your player to raise their tossing arm as, as much as you want say hey just make your tossing arm go straighter but if there's an issue with the body with a lack of mobility or stability that player might not be able to get into that position. So we've got a low tossing arm, we've got a low elbow, we've got no coil. I know I'm being hard on you, Wes, but this is the real deal. We gotta get this rocking. Now, pinpoint stance, I'd like to see this foot come up behind this foot more instead of uh, to the right of the foot. That's gonna cause you possibly to open up too much. Now, going into the serve, there is what I call a high elbow. I'm sorry, a high hand. This hand is above the elbow. We want it lower. That's the racket drop position. That's not happening. Okay, so there could be shoulder flexibility, but also uh, shoulder inflexibility, lack of range of motion, but also in the thoracic spine. If you can't open up your chest as you go to serve, you're not going to be able to uh, drop the racket. You're going to have what's called the high hand right here. So we got a high hand. Now, at contact, probably facing the net a little bit too much. That's because of the stance. That's because of the lack of the coil. And then <clears throat> there's not a lot of jump here. We'll, we'll blame it on the sandals in this particular serve. Then at contact, there isn't a lot of pronation. That looks, that uh, yeah, I think it's hard to tell with the racket angle if that's pronation or if that's slicing. 
right there. So actually, we're going to give you, we're going to say that Wes is pronating there. I can't really tell. So we could, we're good there. Uh, <clears throat> good balance. Again, Wes is a great athlete. He's got great balance on the landing. So let's go back and let's actually compare. Pro Tour, it happens to be me, and uh, I often use my serve to break down other players' serves, okay, to help them out. So let's look at it right now, and we're going to notice some of the differences here. Okay, so I get in my stance, and you can see, you're going to see the difference in the stance. Look at how this toe is well behind the heel here. So right away, I'm going to be able to turn more. Okay, so let me get this all dialed in. Apologize here. All right, let's see if I can get this. So ball is released. Okay, ball is released. And look at the difference in the shoulder turn. Look at the hips. Look at the shoulder turn. Okay, look at the difference in position when the ball is released. Now let's let's take it forward a little bit more. Ball goes up. Okay, so there's my shoulder turn. Okay, so here we go. So that's a, that's a different position that we see here. Full shoulder turn, full coil. Look at the stance, platform stance versus pinpoint stance. Now, I could, I could get my tossing arm a little bit higher. Okay, it doesn't go completely straight. But it's definitely straighter than, than Wes's here. You can see the elbow position. I call elbow the enemy. Cleared way away from the body. You can see, look at the chest opening. Okay, the chest opening allows for the hand to be lower than the elbow. We're not having this from, from Wes here. Okay, so look at the chest, look at the bowing. This is, this, is a bo this is body efficiency right here. Okay, and so that's what we want to work on is we want to get players to improve their body through understanding where they're limited, where they have inefficiencies, and then give them corrective exercise to change it. And then we marry it with better technique and we teach better technique. And so you can see that hand is below the elbow, and a lot of it's because that, that, that chest can really open up. We see the hips and the shoulders turned or coiled because of the stance and because of the ability to get in that position. So there's a lot of room for growth here, Wes, on your serve. Maybe we can help you more in the future. Definitely, if you're a coach, you want to get to racket fit, or if you're a fitness professional, you want to get to a racket fit certification so you can learn all of this, how the body works, how the technique works, and... It's just really, really powerful stuff. So thanks again to Wes for letting me do this uh, video analysis of his serve. And uh, let's get Wes serving bigger. Now, if you enjoyed this vid video, go ahead and click the link in the description below because there's a free the link in the description below or somewhere in this video we can help you out make sure you're subscribed to the channel make sure that your notifications are turned on leave a comment below we'd love to help you again click the link in the description below if you want to improve your serve and the rest of your game i'm here to help thanks so much for your time today